Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. How many right angles do you make if you start facing south and turn clockwise to west? Okay, so it says that. So these are the four directions that we have. So it says that initially you start facing south. So correct initial position is towards south. Perfect. Now you turn clockwise. So what is clockwise? Clockwise means along the direction of the hands of the clock. So this direction. So you actually move like this. Like this. Perfect. And then you turn clockwise towards west. So you need to reach till here. So from here till here. So how many right angles do you make? So from south to west in this direction, how many right angles are involved? Only one right angle. So let's see how would it move? It would move like this from south to west. So how many right angles did we cover? We covered one right angle. Let's look at the second part of the question. It says, you start facing north. Okay, so we are currently facing north and turn anti-clockwise to east. So anti-clockwise would be like this. So let me change the color of the ink to get um, to for a better visualization. So now this time you are going to move anti-clockwise that is in this direction. Perfect. So from north you have to start and you have to reach east. So that means from you start from north and you rotate till you reach east. So how many 90 degrees did you cover? So this is one 90 degree. This is one more 90 degree. This is one more 90 degree. So basically you covered three right angles. So three right angles were covered in this case. So whenever you have to handle the questions on directions, make sure that you draw this. Without drawing this, it is very difficult to answer such questions. Let's look at the third one. You start facing west and turn to west. That means your initial position was towards the west and you have to come back to the same position. Now whenever you have to come back to your starting position, how much rotation do you need to do? So you need to complete one complete revolution. So you start from west, complete 360 degrees and come back. So 360 degrees have how many right angles? One, two, three and four. So in this case, you covered four right angles. Let's look at question number four. Where will the hour hand of a clock stop if it starts from six and turns through one right angle? Okay, so your the hour hand. So here we have just shown the hour hand of the clock to avoid any confusion. So this is your hour hand and it starts from six. It turns through one right angle. Now can, can you tell me that why is it not mentioned here whether it will turn clockwise or anti-clockwise? That's because it's a clock. So a clock will always move in the clockwise direction, right? So this time it would move in the clockwise direction, which is which direction? This direction. So it, it will actually move like this. So the rotation would always be like this in this direction. So it starts from six and then turns through one right angle. So let's again divide it into four quadrants. So that makes our job a lot easier. So now you can very easily tell where will it go. So it starts from six, completes one right angle. So it reaches where? It reaches nine. So this would stop at nine. Now if it starts from eight and turns through two right angles, let's see what would happen in that case. So it started from 8 and it completed how many right angles? 2 right angles. So 2 right angles is how much? 1 right angle is 90 degrees. So 2 right angles is 2 into 90 degree that is equal to 180 degree. So what is 180 degree? This is a straight angle. So very simple it started from 8 and after rotation it will make such an angle that it forms a straight line and in order to form a straight line where will it reach? Absolutely, it will reach at 2. So 2 would be the end point. So in this case, it will reach 
2. It will stop at 2. Question. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.